Mijn naam is uh, Rudy Willemsen en ik had een vraag voor de Ask Intel Anything actie. Um, het valt mij op dat uh, de, de laatste paar jaren uh, de wet van Moore niet meer gehaald wordt. Het uh, verdubbelen van het aantal transistoren en daarmee de snelheid van de processor. Uh, vergelijk ik mijn uh, 5 jaar oude Intel Core i7-29 uh, op 3,33 GHz met een uh, nieuwe 4770 op originele snelheid, dan uh, is de prestatiewinst uh, van die 4770 uh, niet enorm. Tot 20 tot 25 procent. Um, het energieverbruik, uh, energieverbruik daarentegen is uh, ongeveer gehalveerd, schat ik. Um, mijn vraag is dan ook eigenlijk: van, richt Intel zich uh, de laatste jaren uh, meer op het energieverbruik van de desktop-processoren? En is de, zijn de prestaties voldoende? Ik ben benieuwd uh, naar jullie antwoord. Hi Rudy, this is Marcus Weingartner and I work for Intel Germany based in Munich. Uh, your question was, um, is Moore's Law still doing well because I'm only seeing a 25% performance increase on uh, today's uh, fourth gen core processors as compared to my five year old machine when I should be actually seeing a 2x improvement or like 200% improvement um, according to Moore's Law. So there are two aspects to this. Number one is Moore's law and number two is the number of 25%. So I'll start with the number first. That's based on measurement, that's based on testing, benchmarking. And I will tell you that you can actually apply very uh, different kinds of measurement methods to come up with these numbers. Uh, we've chosen some standard uh, ways of doing this. So for example, office productivity, everyday computing. And in doing so, we see about a 200% performance increase if we compare today's fourth gen core processors uh, with about a four to five year old processor. So that's that. Then um, when you actually talk about Moore's law, um, that describes the number of transistors on a chip area. So this would be the chip area and Moore's law says on that area we can double the number of transistors every two years or so. So you will hear that me saying this suggests that Moore's law actually does not relate to performance and that's correct. So it only uh, relates to the number of transistors. Um, and concluding, I'd like to tell you that Moore's law is of course uh, alive and well. Thank you very much Rudy, this is Marcus Weingartner.